How do you reference, like there's a lot of, you know, uh, not just scripture, but also teachings, um, you know, kind of what the theological kind of basis for the curriculum requires, you know, research and different voices and things. So what are you referencing and how are you, you know, uh, putting that material together? Well, um, in terms of the theology of the curriculum, we try to stay true to mainstream theological references and texts that would, commentaries, that sort of thing, that would be used in um, seminaries, uh, what most pastors would rely on for their uh, own uh, teaching preparation. And uh, we're not trying to focus on any particular, like unique or uh, theology that would, you know, people have differences about. We we want to stay true to the biblical principles that are most commonly agreed upon, and teach that as the foundational uh, truths of the of the Bible. So doctrinally, you know, not really putting ourselves in any particular denomination or category. Exactly. But looking for where the church in, you know basically agrees on in truth exactly so that superbook is presented um, interdenominationally mm -hmm. to and a tool for all churches to use absolutely yeah okay that's the goal. do you have do you ever get stuck i mean is there a time when you need advice from somebody who's like a theologian or somebody who's got an expertise in a certain area um, we do. I mean, uh, for the biblical history in particular and the archaeology part of the lesson, which is one of the three lessons for every Bible story, uh, we rely entirely on a couple of uh, well-known biblical archaeologists that are professors at universities and that uh, are doing a lot of uh, archaeological work in Israel. Um, in particular. And um, for the theology itself, uh, we have some of that expertise in-house that we rely on uh, primarily. And it is pretty amazing, but um, you know, when we started doing the curriculum, we had already translated the episodes themselves for the first two seasons into, I think, at least 20 languages at that time. So.